Good morning. So, we want to be a paranormal investigator. Hmm. Episode 7. And yes, I got a bloody haircut. Look at how nice is that. Yeah. You know, and I shaved up a little bit. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I'm not feeling good enough. I was supposed to go to my therapy today, but I'm just not good enough. So I thought instead, um, I would do another episode. Hmm? Mm. So, I was thinking again about the spirit ruts. And many people don't realize what a, a great tool for your investigation uh, that spirit rods could actually be. A lot of people think it's just yes or no questions, whatever. But see, this is not the case. Hmm? I'll just give you a couple examples today. And, uh, you know, if you can think of other examples or other things that you might be able to do with them, at the end of this cinema, just type in there, well, what about doing this or what about doing that? And try it and let us know how it turns out for you, all right? Okay, so anyway, what are some of the things? First things we got to do always is when you have your rods, you, you hold them, let them balance, settle down. Thank you. All right, show me yes. Go ahead, good, show me no. Good job. Okay, spirits, we're gonna play a game today. Today we're gonna pretend we're in the cemetery, okay? Is that all right with you? Can we do that? Yes, okay, good. All right, so now we're walking along in the cemetery and we feel a shiver, right, or whatever. So there will be a spirit near me, okay? So we're going to say, is there a spirit near me other than, you know, normal? Like, is there some spirit that's trying to get my attention that's near me? Yes or no? Oh, yes, there is. See, so now we're walking in a cemetery and we find out there's a spirit who's trying to reach us, who's trying to talk to us. Okay, thank you, spirits. So I don't know who you are. So what we're going to do is we're going to do your first name. And I just want your first letter of your first name. Okay, so spirits, you can decide whatever letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, G. Okay, so your first name starts with a G. All right. So, that's good. Thank you. Now I want to see if I can figure out uh, the start of your last name. A, B, C, D, E, F, F, okay. B, C, D, E, 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 oh, G, E, okay, I got you. See, now, I was going to say F because it was going, when I said E, it started to move, and then as soon as I said F, it stopped, and it kind of went like this. So I said, not F, and then it went, yes, it's not F. So then I said, okay, and then when I said E, it crossed on E. So we know that the, whoever we're looking for, their initials are now G, E. Hmm. We're in a cemetery. It's near us, and we have the initials. All right. So then you say, all right, rods, I'll just uh, use this rod. Uh, which direction should I go? That way. Alright. So now I take this rod. Do you agree? Is that the direction? Now, if I look at the rods, they're pointing exactly the same way. Okay, so I'm going to go slowly in this direction and look from side to side. 180 degrees head turn for a tombstone with the initials G E. Right? So let's say I'm going this way for a little while. Maybe 20, 30 feet. I still don't see a G E. Okay. So I go spirits uh, if 
if I need to turn my direction a little bit, please let me know. As we're rolling, right? So, no, they're still pointing the same way. Alright, so I'll take a few more steps. Still looking for GE. Oh, wait, this one's moving. And now this one's moving. Okay, so now they want me to turn a little bit, you see? So I turn a little bit. Oh, there's GE. Alright. So now I gotta make up a name. Uh, Okay, so Spirit, this is the name I'm, I'm reading on this pretend stone. So we got a pretend stone that we walked through in the cemetery uh, with the initials GE. And I'm looking at the stone. Okay. So now we're going to pretend if I'm right or wrong. Okay. Of course, I got to make up a pretend name. I'm talking to the spirits, right? Because uh, they're helping me with this uh, demonstration. All right. Okay, I am standing in front of a marker. Uh, with a GE, which is Gary Eras. Is that who you wanted me to see? Oh, well, hi Gary. How are you today? Uh, if you're doing okay, please cross uh, for a yes. And if you're not doing okay, uh, put a no. Oh, you're not doing so good. Would you like to use a uh, spirit box? Do you know how to use a spirit box? Would you like to use that? No. Okay, would you prefer to use an EVP? You would. All right, Gary, just give me one second and we'll do an EVP. So there you have uh, one way that these, that I made my own, of course, they're homemade. You can, you can go back a couple uh, classes and see how to make these. So now we know that Gary wishes to use an EVP. So then I would go at this point and get me trusty dandy EVP collector. And of course I use this one. This is the one I always use. Uh, because it's plain Jane, but it has a very, very good pickup on it. Good. Uh, I get a lot of really crystal clear um, uh, EVPs on this one. So I, I recommend this one. I know lots of uh, other uh, guys that use this type too. And um, lots of guys don't can't stand them. So, so you know, it's, it's all preferences. It's what you like. <coughs> oh, just for fun, you want to see if we, if they'll pretend to do a, okay. All right, so here we go, just for fun. And now remember now, it's just it's just, it's just pretend. So now we're at the cemetery, and um, uh, what was his name? I forgot. Sorry. What? Gary. Gary. Oh yes, Gary Eras, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're talking to Gary Eras at the cemetery, right? So we go like this. So we take our recorder, and we, we would do it like this. Now, when you're, we might as well do a lesson for, for doing this too. When we're using anything for doing uh, EVP, uh, I don't even know what that means. It's just the initials that everybody says. Uh, voice print anyway. Um, crap. Electronic voice phenomena. Ah, uh, we used to just call them voice prints. You know, back in back in my day, when I first started, we we call them. We want to get some voice prints because we didn't have these. We had um, big, big machines that we lugged around. Uh, uh, reel to reel, I think you call it, and. Um, and then, and then we, we really got excited because we got one real reel that was the size of um, uh, a, a small laptop, but about that thick, eh? about four inches thick. And it was a little baby reel to reel. And we were so excited about that. That was such a great invention uh, for ghost hunting. But anyway, I digress. So we're going to go get a voice print. So let's do this. Uh, the light keeps going out on my computer. Uh, so. 
all that noise you hear in the background is rain by the way okay so here we go so when you're doing an EVP make sure that you always 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 keep your hands away from actually especially your thumb because people sometimes their thumb will rest on top hmm? so always keep your thumb away you know like hold the side or whatever keep your fingers flat okay when you're doing an EVP stay perfectly still do not move also if you do accidentally move or you make a noise tag it I always say oh I farted oh <laughs> I uh, shuffled my feet oh we you know whatever always tag it and um, yeah and if you're with a team and you have to talk don't whisper make sure you're talking in a normal loud voice so it won't be mistaken for an EVP okay so anyway, let's, let's do our pretend thing Oh yeah, I gotta turn it on first. There's an on button. If my batteries are not dead. Well, darn it. I forgot it was on the other day and I recorded for like 12 hours. So sadly my batteries are dead at the moment. Anyway, we're pretending anyway, so what the heck. So anyway, we're pretending. So I put on the thing. And you you stay where you are, when you are, what recording is, you know, all that kind of crap. Uh, so you'd say, well, this is Danny from Chasing Bulls Inspectors. We're at Pretend Cemetery talking to Pretend Gary Irez. Uh, take one. Wait a minute. Hello Gary, you said you wanted to talk on an EVP rather than a spirit box. Are you there? And then you'd wait about 10 seconds or whatever you want. Is there something I can help you with? Anyway, about 10 seconds or whatever. Did you just need me to stop and say have a blessed day? Wait for about 10 seconds. And you just come up with whatever questions you want. As soon as you're done your questioning, uh, take the cord off, of course, then hit the, the button. But bring the machine right close to whatever you're recording on so that uh, other people watching your cinema hear whatever's on there. At the same time you do, and you hit play and listen. And that's it. So anyway, those are just some tips for today, uh, and to remind you that these can be used for many, many other things. I just gave you a demonstration of, of one way that they could be used. Um, there are a few other ways I've used them. But they're not just for yes or no answers. You can get directions from them. You can uh, get them to spell their name. You can ask questions that need direct answers, yes or no answers, of course. Uh, but those questions don't necessarily just have to be questions they could be directions they could be you know anything you can use them to point you in the right direction to help you find the people that you're looking for um because i've done all this many times in the past it's very simple to do and i showed you that it works and even with uh, just my spirits that live here uh they're always and i want to thank you uh, for helping with this demonstration for my youtubing so that they could learn so thank you spirits um, so anyway, this is one, uh, one, uh, very important tool to keep in your, in your go bag, you know, uh, because you never know a lot of times, <coughs> a lot of times they don't want to talk to you on this. A lot of times they don't really care for the, for the white noise, uh, generator. Um, some spirits are sensitive to it, you know. Um, so yeah, just, just enjoy yourself. Go out there, try these out. If you come up with some new new ideas and, and different ways or ways that you'd like to try it, please leave a comment below because I'm interested to see what you do as well. So uh, until next time, remember, take care of yourselves, take care of your family. <laughs> Watch out for ghosts. <laughs> Have a good day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.